is a very talented actress starring on the hit television series Bridgerton. Season one is streaming now on Netflix. Here's Phoebe Dinover, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Phoebe Dinover. Hello and welcome. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Uh, thank you for coming on. It's, the, it's your first time on our show. Yes, I am so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I, I want to... I'm your biggest fan. All right, well, right back at you. All right, here we go. I do, I want to talk to you about Bridgerton, but uh, I also want to say we just had Lynn manuel Miranda uh, out here on the show, and I, I know that you're a big fan of Lynn. And... Can we just talk about Hamilton, this whole interview? Because I'm the biggest fan of Lynn manuel ever. Wait, wait, hold on I mean, a second. But, but, but the, you know, there's... Lynn, who was here, but then there's me, who is here, you know? Yeah, both of you in the same room is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself right now. Um, but Lynn Manuel, Hamilton literally got me and my family through lockdown. We would play it every single day. Um, we watched the, the theater version a million times, and we can sing every song. Um, so, yeah, Hamilton's the best. Uh, the best. Well, I cannot wait to see In the Heights. Uh, oh, get ready. Get ready. Oh my God! No, you won't even believe this Thursday. You won't even believe it. So get ready. It's, it's, it's it it <laughs> it pays off. But uh, people will say the same thing for you, by the way, because you got us through quarantine. Uh, we all got to experience you with Bridgerton, and we all that was a moment. That's a TV moment, uh, and and. Uh -huh. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, and what, it came out of nowhere. I had no idea. Uh, we were just looking for something to watch, and everyone was like, Whoosh, I'm in. It's Downton Abbey, but spicier. Uh, I don't know what it was. But I, we didn't know what it was. And it was so great. And I, I always love a good story, mm -hmm. as anyone does. But uh, the story of you getting cast is interesting to me, because I heard that you were almost ready to just kind of give up on acting in L.A. for a little bit. And you go, ah, it's not working now. I'm going to go back to England. Is that true? Yeah, I'd been, uh, it was kind of crazy. I'd been living in LA for about nine months and I was kind of at that point where I was ready. I was ready to go home, sort of throw in the towel um, and uh, see the fam for a bit. And then I got a call saying, can you come in and, and read with reggae next week? And I was like, oh God, well, that's annoying because I've got to move my flight. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was like, I hope it pays off. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to do this and get rejected. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, and then the next day they were like, Netflix will, will pay for your flight back to London because you've, right. got, you've got to be in rehearsals on Monday. That's so, what I'm talking about. It, it yes! pay off. <laughs> That's the story that you want. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when, when, did you, when did you recognize that you and Reggae Jean had chemistry? Because Reggae Jean has been on our show and I had chemistry with Reggae Jean. <laughs> Yes, it's hard not to. Yeah, but you two together, it's like, what is going on? Uh, when did you guys uh, realize? Was it rehearsal or was it? Did you do a scene? And you go, mm, that's pretty good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you never know, but we both had dance rehearsals together, and we were both kind of nervous about about the dancing part. It was it was the part that we were both a bit like, oh, can we do this? Um, and I remember we had a few rehearsals and, uh, and one of them got recorded, so we got to watch it back. And we were like, oh, eye contact really does, does a lot of the work. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you and, felt... and dancing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I think it was, uh, it, it, was, it was brilliantly done, and we, we know that he's not returning for season two, but a lot of people were disappointed. But if you read the books, which, or read the books, I, which I have not, so I was going, oh, aw, and then they go, no, that's the way the story goes. Um, uh, it was never planned for him right. to return in season two. Is that correct? No, I mean, I think every, the special thing about Bridgerton that I think not a lot of shows really do is that every, every season centers around a different love story. So season two is centered around the Anthony, um, my older brother, and his sort of coming out into the season and um, and finding a match, hopefully. So every every story centers around a different relationship. So I'm just really excited to watch the show as an audience um, and see what it has in store for him. Uh, but you're back in you're filming season two right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've had three days on set. It's um it's so nice to be back. It it's feel such like? a nice feeling. What it was? Oh, it yeah. the best. 
I um I cried like seven times <laughs> <laughs> when I when I came back because so much had happened, you know, since the first season. Um, obviously COVID and and the show coming out and just seeing everyone again. I mean, half their faces. Yeah. For the most part, but um, but yeah, Still, I'll take it. Was it yeah. Just so nice. Well, on behalf yeah. of uh, on behalf of everyone who actually did uh, go, get through quarantine, thanks to you. I just want to say thank you very much for doing what you did. Uh, it was definitely a big uh, yeah. moment for us. Uh, and uh, I want to show everyone a clip from season one. Here's Phoebe Dinover and Reggae Jean Page in Bridgerton. Take a look. It would be better if you refrained from thinking about me at all. It is simply surprising. Yes, however is it possible for a lady to offer anything but a smile while seated beside a duke? You regarding subjects much too Even one of your reputation. You are aware of my reputation. I'm aware of your friendship with my eldest brother. If that were not enough, I'm also aware of the things a certain writer has recently written of you. Presumptuous? Clearly. Arrogant, most definitely. You are a rake. Through and through. And tell me I'm wrong. Who is to refrain from thinking about whom again? <laughs> I assure you, I'm anything but interested in you. Good. Quite. And I anything but interested in you. There you go. Phoebe Dinover, everybody! <laughs> Season one of Bridgerton is streaming now on Netflix. Hey, hey.